My, may Allah's mercy be upon you and your family. Amin. You are one of my favorite scholars. I have learned a lot from your lectures. May Allah give you jazai khair. Let me remind you, I'm just a student of Islam and comparative religion. I'm a da'i. I'm not a scholar. And the question continues. There is a Turkish drama, Arthugrul, which has broken all records on the YouTube. Muslims in the subcontinent are praising it so much that anyone who tells them not to watch it is considered anti-Islamic. <laughs> This serial is supported by Erdogan and Imran Khan also praised it. Deoband literally had to pass a fatwa against it. This serial has Gair Mayram hugging and touching each other, music and a love story. Plus the story is also not authentic. What is your nasiha advice to the youth who are wasting their time in Ramadan in this haram serial? A similar question asked by my name is Tasaduk from Kashmir. Is it permissible in Islam to watch Arthuguru serial? A similar question is posed by Habiba Mizbah, Uttar Pradesh, India. My question is that how is it to see Turkish drama Arthuguru Ghazi? Another question, similar question posed by Faisal Khurshid, Pakistan. What does Islam say about watching dramas and movies? My question is in reference to the Turkish drama Artugrul Ghazi, which depicts, which depicts the glory of Muslims during crusades against during crusades against the crusaders. I am aware that we received, I think, hundreds of questions from the hundreds of thousands of questions. At least hundred questions, maybe only on Artugrul. I will give the answer, but please don't limit. This answer is not limited only talking about Arthur series. First, let me tell you that I being in the field of media, almost all the movies, the dramas, almost all, 99.9% .9 that are, they will not fulfill the criteria of halal. Some are less haram, some are more haram. Islam and not broken any of the criteria. So let me tell you for sure that almost all the movies, some are more haram, some are less haram, some have broken the Gunaya Kabira, some have broken the Gunaya Sagira. As far as Urtugul is concerned, I have not done a deep survey on Urtugul, so I cannot answer to everything of Urtugul. But yes, I have read reports, I have read articles saying Urtugul is one of the best serial in the world, not only on YouTube, throughout the world. It has broken record even of Hollywood. That's how I came to know about this serial called Urtugrul. It is made in Turkey and what I read was 157 episodes. Each episode was for about 2 hours 15 minutes and somewhere it is divided into 3. So 157 episodes of the serial was there and it has been translated into various languages of the world. Urdu, English, many dubbing are there into umpteen number of languages that is there on Netflix etc. Yes, what I came to know from the articles that I read and what little bit, you know, it is less, it is, it cannot be fully permissible because there are lady actors which are not in hijab, so it cannot be 100% halal. There is music in it, which again cannot be haram. As the brother said, there is hug scenes, etc. But surely, it is not like normal movies, like Bollywood and Hollywood movies. There is no smooching, there is no love making scenes, etc. Yes, shaking hands, hugging, etc. Not like the Bollywood movies or the Hollywood movies. So it is, it is not, it doesn't have those bigger haram. But yes, there are ladies not in hijab. There is music in it. There are certain things showed about Islam, which is against Akida. There are certain things which is against the Tawheed. So surely it is not totally Islamic at all. So no one can give you fatwa that watching is permissible. But I would like to go a step further. That what we have to realize that because of the evil that is spread throughout the world. Anyone who is not watching serial, I would recommend this is haram for you. Don't watch it at all. Please, if you are not, if, if you are not watching movies because it's haram if you're not watching serial my recommendation is read the quran it will get you closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala read the hadith it will get you closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala read the seerah it will get you closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but those people who are addicted to movies there are many muslims 
millions of Muslims in the world who I know, they are addicted to movies. Even if they may not be addicted to the very vulgar movies, they are addicted to the normal Hollywood movies and Bollywood movies, which is also haram. They may not be watching pornography, but they are watching the normal Bollywood movies in which the ladies are dressed with, 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 uh, with, with skirts and with, with you know, revealing the body more than covering it. There are music, there are songs away from Islam. So if such a person who is hooked on to the normal Bollywood movie and the normal Hollywood movie or hooked on to the normal serials that you see in the Star TV or the ZTV or, or the other serial and all of them, almost all are haram. This is less haram than the Bollywood movies and the Hollywood movies. Surely there are no love making scenes, they may be a little bit hugging, that's what I'm told. So based on that, if a person is hooked on and he can, best option for people hooked on, stop seeing movies, that's the best. But if he cannot, then seeing such serial like Arthogal is better than seeing the Hollywood and Bollywood serial. What I had seen many years back was message and the best movie according to me that has been created in the world, any movie, it is message. Again, the message movie which is Arabic is ar -Risala. The message movie, it was, uh, the actor was uh, uh, Anthony Quinn. If you ask the fatwa, is it 100% halal? Even the message movie which I saw, I cannot say 100% halal. Because there was music. There were sometimes ladies being shown which were not properly dressed. But the way it was created, the way it was made is superb. It will surely get a person close to Islam. But yet, I cannot say it's 100% halal. But if you want to watch a movie, if you hooked on to a movie, then please watch message. The Umar series, it was a series of 30 episodes, made few years earlier. It was made uh, by the MBC and funded by the Qatar, Qatar Foundation. Even that, I've seen that, you cannot say it's 100% Islamic. There was music, there was some scenes of ladies, but as far as message is concerned and Umar series are concerned, the, the, the knowledge in it, the, the hadith is quoted, the Quran is quoted, it is wonderful. It will surely get a person closer to Islam. There is no obscenity in it. There is not major haram in it. Yes, music is there. And, and Alhamdulillah, as far as Umar series is concerned, majority of the hadiths are said. There may be a few here and there, which may be problematic. So the best amongst all I would say is you watch the message movie. If you hooked on to movies. If you are not hooked on to movies, don't watch message. If you hooked on to serial, the best serial to watch is the series of Omar series. Urtugul will not come on the same level as, as, as message. It will not come on the same level as Umar series. But let me tell you that suppose there is a lady who is wearing mini skirts. And if she says, okay, I want to wear shalwar kameez but my hair is open. Is it permissible? Keeping your hair open is haram. But better than wearing mini skirt. So I would tell that lady who is wearing mini skirts and deep neck, okay, stop that. Wear shalwar kameez which covers the body completely with full sleeve, covering your full body, except that is seen is your hair. So that is multiple times better than even me. I said, no, no. You want to leave mini skirt? Wear full hijab. Otherwise, don't. So this is, this will be a foolish answer. If you are wearing mini skirt, you either wear hijab or continue wearing mini skirt. I will tell you, okay, stop mini skirt. Wear shalwar kameez. Cover your full body. Of course, covering your full body and only showing your hair is a lesser sin as compared to wearing mini skirts and wearing low neck. So similarly, if those who are hooked on to serials and movies and then if they watch Arthugur and Arthugur also everything is authentic, maybe 20% is authentic, but it tries to get a person closer to Islam and tries to revive your passion. Please let me tell you again, I have not done a full survey on the Arthugur release. I am not the app person, but what reports I read based on that, yes, it is haram. Seeing Arthugur is haram. But if you are hooked on and if you are watching Bollywood movies and if you are watching Hollywood movies, surely watching this and not watching that is better than not watching this and watching Hollywood movies. I am very clear. Instead of watching a Hollywood or a Bollywood movie, I would prefer you stopping it, number one. 
If you can't stop because you hooked on to serial, then watching Arthur Gul is better than watching Bollywood and Hollywood. This in short, but yet it is haram. But surely it will be a lesser haram as compared to the Hollywood and Bollywood movies. And inshallah, this may get you closer to Islam. And that time, and maybe later on, you may stop watching all these haram and then follow. And then reading the Quran is the best. Reading the Hadith is the best. And it is my desire. For example, I, I cannot make a movie even like Message in if I want to because it again it's against my principle. If I want, I cannot even make a serial like Omar serial, Leave Azhar Urturgil, because it's against my principle. There is a desire of mine that inshallah, inshallah, one day I would like to make a movie better than the Message movie, which is the best available, but following all the principles of Islam. You know, we should not have any musical instrument, but you can have Islamic sound effects, which are halal. You know, which following all these principles, it will be difficult, like how we do in the Peace TV. On the Peace TV, mashallah, we have no music at all. We have the sound effects of human being. We have the alap. And since duff is permissible by some of the scholars, some say no, we do use duff. So based on this, inshallah, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may fulfill my desire that one day I, sh I would like to make a movie totally Islamic, following all the criteria of Islam, whether it be on the life of Prophet Muhammad or maybe on the Quran or maybe on some other Islamic topic and a very high quality, it's my desire so that at least we can say there is one movie of high caliber. There may be movie of low caliber which may be following Islamic principles totally, I don't know of them, maybe, but of high caliber, of high quality like the movie of message, I don't know of any. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give me the opportunity to do that inshallah before I die, inshallah. Hope that answers the question.